arise what's up so this is continuations of hybrid framework and here uh, i am going to talk about how we can read the data from the properties file and how we can use in the framework so we will see uh, today the coding of the uh, properties file reading uh, from the config file so, so before to start cd for me i come from mechanical background and i have my uh, you know facebook page and youtube channel so you can subscribe my channel so that you know you'll have access to all my videos and the github locations where you'll get all my source code placed over there now let me start with the uh, properties file reading so let's say in config uh, i'll create one file called config.properties properties right and in the config the properties let's say i'll write user name is equal to let's say i'll write banu and i'll write password is equal to password and let's say i'll write url is equal to i'll write https www.google.com and uh, i'll create one more uh, properties file go i'll create a file i'll write or dot properties so or dot properties this is another file here i will just write uh, let's say i can write some data here so just let me write some dummy data test is equal to test1 and uh, i will write uh, test name is equal to login so i'm just writing as of now i'm just writing a dummy properties file so that we can make the method ready so we can integrate the same thing with the framework now we have to design one method to read the properties file so how to do that we need to create one method we'll write here public void uh, we'll write get uh, uh, get properties data okay so we want to uh, get the properties data right so what we need to do is to do that first uh, we will load the data so let me create first method called public void load properties file so we want to load all the properties file present in our uh, let's say framework how to do that so for that we need to do first we need to make the object of properties class so in java properties is a class so we need to make the object of properties class so i'm making the object of properties class i'm given reference is equal to or object repository and i'll create a local variable called or now uh, we need to make the object of file class because as we know that these are the file so to work with the file we need to make the object of file class so i'll make the object of file class file and this file will take the path of the properties so again i will follow the same approach system dot uh, get property user dot dir which will give you uh, locations to your project and then uh, we can do right click and go to the properties and after the project from the src we can take the locations and we can keep it here so why i always follow this because you know if tomorrow if your drive will change your drive will not hamper your framework because this will give you the project locations irrespective of drives and what i'll do is uh, after that i will just write file is equal to so we have made the object of file class now we need to make the object of input stream reader because we want to read everything in the one sort so we'll write input stream reader right because we want to read everything in the uh, uh, in the one sort so instead of uh, input stream reader what 
we can do one more thing is uh, we can make file input stream why because we want to read file in one shot so we can go for file input stream because this is our file object so we want to read the entire data of the file in one shot so we'll go for this and here i will write f1 because this will take file object as an argument and just place mouse over here click on create local variable this will throw the exceptions click on that add throws file not found then uh, we can go for or dot load so this load method will load the input string so we can go for the file so one properties file has loaded this will also throw the exception so click on as add throws declarations you know it will come as an input output now uh, we can make all these variable as a public so that you know we can access from the different class also so just paste it here and make it as a public all the variables right now come back and even for the file we can go and we can write it here then uh, for input stream also we can do the same thing Now we have done that what we will do is we will remove these things from here because we have already made as a global variable so here we have uh, two properties file to load so we can repeat the same code just what we will do here we will change to or so both the properties file will get loaded so this guy will load the properties file now uh, let's say we want to read the data to read the data it is very simple first we need to call the load properties files so we'll test the method so here uh, i don't want this to be called this we have tested already so i'll just write here test dot load properties file this will load and place mouse over here because this will throw the exception so we need to click on declarations and then just do or or is the reference of properties file so just do or dot get so we have to write test dot or dot get property so based on key it will fetch the data so let's say i'll give one let's say url i'll give url i want to read the url so double quote supply the url and i'll read uh, one more data uh, which i'll read from here i'll read the test name so both should got both should work actually we should get the data and uh, i'll write this inside the print statement so that you know we can print that we will come to know whether it is working or not similarly copy paste change to the test name. delete this now if you do right click and run as java applications see we can see that the data is getting printed it from the both the properties file which means the load properties file method is working and if you have more than one properties file you can load like this so this method is also ready now load properties file right and we have created the variable also so with this we are done with load properties file method also so thank you guys thank you for watching this i'll be keep on adding the method one by one so that you know it is easy for you to understand and uh, with this we are done with this video so if you like this video please hit like button and subscribe my channel thank you guys thank you once again